Angelman syndrome is, well, you're born with it and you can't really catch it like a cold. It's like one of the cells are missing on the body. They can't talk. Something can't walk properly. You don't act older the older you get, really. You always act really young. When she's happy, she usually like flaps her hands and goes, ah! There's about 23 of these thingies in your body. And then on the 15th chroma thing, there's a bit off. So they're not exactly like her, so they're different. We now know that that tiny piece that was missing contains an important gene that's called UBE3A and the gene might be completely missing or it might just not be working. He was very poor at sleeping and very very unsettled. He had very severe reflux and he just screamed basically the whole time until he um, calmed down with some drugs but then he started smiling and he hasn't stopped smiling since. He's really, really sociable. He's really interested in people. Not all children with Angelman syndrome will develop epilepsy, but most will at some stage. They're so motivated to communicate, and that means that they will use everything they've got. They'll use any tool that they have. My brother pulls hair and pulls gloves and he eats gloves. Uh, when we did get the diagnosis, it was the sort of the first time that I'd heard of it, or my wife had heard of it. She was diagnosed at 22 months old. 18 months. Four. 18 months. He's eight months old. Five. 18 months. Diagnosis got missed the first time, but eventually got diagnosed at two and a half. Diagnosis can be difficult um, if you're seeing a doctor who hasn't come across the condition before. The very first paediatrician we saw was fantastic. I think it was later on that we met some professionals who weren't quite as tactful and appropriate. Life in comparison to how the NHS website describes Angelman and how it is on a day-to-day -day basis is poles apart, it's extremely, it's extremely different. There's a part of you that holds on to the hope that perhaps you're just imagining that something's wrong. It's inevitable you're going to feel guilty. I feel better about it now, but it's taken time, you know. One of the first things we were told was that she would have a very limited life, that she wouldn't be able to open a packet of biscuits. Our daughter is very well able to open a packet of biscuits. We've learned very quickly that you can't set an expectation on a child and say they're going to be able to do this or they're going to be able to do that. They're all different. She says a few words, so she says hello, somebody says hello back. It's repeated constantly. I thought people would shy away from her, as indeed some people did in the early days, because it's a very scary thing being different. People don't know what to do with difference. Her effect on people is amazing. People get addicted to her. When you first find out that your child has AS, your life is thrown up in the air, but it will be okay. And in fact, it will be magical. Um, you learn to deal with the challenges, and when there are successes, you become the proudest parent in the world. Every day, Eloise is always happy and giggly. She just gets on with life. Every day I look up to Eloise, and every day I try to be a bit more like Eloise as a result.